Okay, sixth grade. So now that you have a very simple outline of your face that you traced from your photograph, let's take a second and talk about eyes, okay? We are not going to paint the eyes. We want to do a little bit of pencil work on our eyes, and then later we're going to do a little bit of Sharpie and colored pencil. But for now, let's just focus on using um, your regular pencil, okay? When you did your tracing on your light table, I hope that you were able to capture the white part of your eye, and then this circle here, which is called the iris, that's the colored part, and then the small pupil, okay? If you did not trace these things in your eye, I want you to go back. You can either go back to the light table or you can just freehand it while looking at your photograph, okay? Um, one thing that I do not recommend is a floating pupil, okay? Um, if you add a floating pupil, and what I mean by that is it's like a circle just kind of hanging out in the middle of your iris versus this one here that's kind of connected to the iris. So it looks like your eyelid is covering part of that pupil. It's a little more natural than having your pupil right in the center of your eye. If your pupil was right in the center of your eye, then um, your eyeball, your eyes would be really, really wide open, okay? So same with your iris, same with this circle here. It should be connected to the top line of your eye. So pay attention to that. Make sure you have this circle, which is not a whole circle then, right? It's more of a little semicircle. And then get that pupil drawn in there as well, okay? Now, inside of your pupil, I want you to make another small semicircle. And you're gonna leave that white. It's gonna look like a little shiny white spot in your eye. And then go ahead and take your pencil and do the best you can to color in that pupil so it looks nice and dark. So again, I'm gonna make a little shiny white spot over here. And then I'm gonna color in that pupil nice and dark with my pencil, okay? Now, for the iris, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna make a bunch of lines that radiate out from this pupil. So from the pupil out, staying inside of your iris, I'm making a bunch of little teeny tiny lines, okay? That's gonna help make your eye look more realistic. If you actually look in someone's eyes, you can see those little spokes that are around um, in the iris by the color part, okay? So now that you have the eyes finished, let's talk about how we are gonna begin mapping out our values onto our drawing. In your photograph, you have a series of values, right? A series of lights and darks. We've been practicing with value, so um, you should be pretty familiar with your lights and darks, okay? So what I've done is I've gone in and I'm looking for big chunks of value. Big chunks, not little teeny tiny chunks, okay? I'm not gonna spend my time mapping out little teeny tiny areas, okay? So all these little teeny tinies, we can just skip over. We're only focusing on the face, not any hands, not hair, and not neck. Just the face for now, okay? So. Find your lightest value and mark that with a number one. Number one is going to be your lightest value. So go in and find all the big chunks on your face with the lightest value and put in a number one. And then I want you to create a key for yourself somewhere on the border of your photograph where it says one equals the lightest value. Okay? I have four values. So four is my darkest, but you might have five or six values. So you can't really add this key in until you know how many values you have in your face, okay? So once you have that one marked in, then look for the next value that's the darkest. So my next value that's the darkest is this gray. So this is a number two. So go in and mark all of your number twos. And then continue with three and then continue with four or five or six if you have those, okay? So once you have all of your um, values marked with numbers, then I'm gonna have you jump back over to your drawing, okay? And now what you're gonna do is you are very carefully going to draw
draw in the big shapes that you see here, okay? They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exact. Just get a general shape that you see, okay? So for example, when I'm drawing this first number one shape here on my forehead, I'm very generally not perfect or exact, but I am paying attention to where I'm putting the shape, okay? And I'm not pressing down very hard either. I want to make sure I'm working nice and light. So what you're doing is you're creating a paint by number for yourself here, okay? So here's my number one. So very lightly I'm going to write in a number one because we don't want to see numbers on our face when we're all done with our painting. Then I'm going to go in over here and find my other number one. So here, it's kind of like this shape. I'm going to mark that in. And I'm going to come down over here to my chin and get that general shape in. Okay? So there was a, uh, an incident in one of the other classes where one of the kids was a girl. And she said, if I put this shape in here, it's going to look like I have a mustache, and I don't want it to look like I have a mustache. And I said, okay, well then don't add that shape, okay? If you find that there's a shape that looks weird and you don't want it to look like you have some kind of mustache or, like, for example, I look at this and I'm like, eh, it kind of looks like a booger or something, um, then don't add it, okay? It's okay to leave a couple of things out, but do not add anything that doesn't belong there. If you start adding things in, it's going to look really weird. Like a kid yesterday, they... They did this, like they added a bunch of eyelashes, and then, and, and then they were like, this looks weird. And I was like, well, yeah, it looks weird because it's not really on your face, and you can't really see it in the photograph. So don't add anything that shouldn't be there, okay? All right. Um, so with that said, I know that there are some of you who probably still do need to do some more tracing. Please take your turns on the light tables. Be efficient. Um, remember that there are other people who need to use those light tables. So work quickly and then get back to your table spot. Start mapping out your numbers. Make your key. Start getting all of your shapes drawn in on your drawing and then number. Okay? Only on the face. We are not doing any painting today. But I do want this all finished by the end of class so that next time we can begin painting, okay? All right, be respectful, be responsible. See you later.